Hey guys, the name is Chris Porocci. Welcome to Gear Corner. This time we're going to be talking about a very clever new wireless unit from Sennheiser. Please hit subscribe and ring that bell in case you're enjoying my videos. And uh, also do not forget about the description box under each and every video of mine. It's always full of timestamps, useful stuff, gear links, etc. The gear we're checking out today is the Sennheiser XSWD, which stands for extra small, I guess, and uh, wireless digital. It makes sense, right? They came out with them last December, a couple of weeks ago, basically. And um, they're really clever, these things. I'll let you know why, and we'll talk about specs and everything in a second, but let's hear it first. <laughs> You've heard both XSWD systems. This one right here in my hands is the instrument set and the other one is the pedal board set. The uh, transmitter is the same thing uh, in both systems and the receiver is in this case just something that goes in right in your amp and in the pedal board set the floor unit is the receiver and it's also a tuner so you can save some space on your pedal board which makes a lot of sense. It's a huge display so you can clearly see you know where to tune to. Four things are really important to mention about these things. First of all, they are pretty affordable. I mean, they're not like the cheapest of all, you know, they're not budget units. These are pro level units. They sound fantastic and everything. They cost around as much as like a high quality pedal would. And uh, if you want to know prices, check out the links in the description box. Second very important thing to mention is that these are really simple to use. You still have a lot of options, some of which are proper pro level options, but just, you know, pair them, just push both knobs long, they pair and that's it. You know, then you just have to turn on and off. You can mute them with the knob. It's so simple to use. <coughs> Third important thing is it's Sennheiser, so it's going to be reliable. And uh, that is something that's very important. As soon as you hit the stage and play gigs, don't underestimate the amount of issues you can have when you're gigging. It's really annoying if something breaks down. So reliable stuff are very important. <laughs> Number four, and it's the most important thing, these will work with active instruments. That's a big issue with all the small wireless units and all the budget units. 
that are being charged by plugging them in to something and uh, this will not cause that issue. You just have a normal USB-C um, plug to charge them and uh, they will work for five hours and you don't have any issues with active acoustic guitars, basses, active guitars and all of that. Let's check out the specs. It's not gonna be a long list, but all of them are important. First of all, it works on 2.4 gigahertz, which is a worldwide license-free frequency range. Second thing, the battery will last for five hours. If you play shows that are longer than five hours, you really have to talk with your band members. <laughs> a very nice feature is that you can use more transmitters with one receiver. So uh, if you have like two or three guitars, just use two or three transmitters plugged into the guitars and uh, you know you can decide which one is active and all of these can be paired with the same receiver. You have 75 meters range which is quite a lot and uh, in case you're interested in feet that's how much it is and uh, last but not least it's a nice little feature you can mute these real fast if you want to unplug it uh, plug in another guitar just push the little knob it turns to orange and then you know okay it's muted you can unplug it plug in another guitar no pop coming out of the amp <laughs> I really want to compare this to uh, my cordial cable, which is a pretty high quality, studio quality cordial cable. Cable sound is ideal. That's what every wireless unit should try to you know, aim for. And uh, if a wireless unit gets real close to the cable sound, you know, they did a good job. So um, let's check it out. <laughs> I didn't feel like I have to readjust the uh, low gain drive I had on my Foxcatcher pedal or on the amp or anything and it felt exactly the same. Let me know what you've heard in the comment section and uh, you guys take it easy. In case you enjoy this video give me a thumbs up and we will see each other very soon again. Cheers! <laughs>